Hi everyone, right here. Hi Altitude Scale Modeling. My buddy Andreas, the Norse God, he is doing a T90 build, the only T90 build worth joining. And this is what I'm going to do for it. So I'm going to review this nice trumpeter kit. See how it looks. Get started on it. It's got over 1,300 pieces. There's some information on the side if you want to pause it and read what it has to say. Kit number 05563. This side shows the finished tank and a couple of PE frets that come with it. So, set this aside. Start looking at some parts. Let me find a knife. How all you tiring craftsmen doing anyway? Good? And craft women, of course. Here's the lower hull. And it's got a piece of copper wire, a hose, and you know, I know what these are called when I'm not filming a video, but as soon as I'm filming a video, I completely black out. But I'll know later. So, the lower hull. Very nice detail inside. Ejector pin marks here, but I don't think you're going to see them because this doesn't come with a full interior. They put the copyright information right there. Underneath, though, it's another matter. That looks really nice. You can get some nice dirty detail on that. I haven't built a tank in. Well, I haven't finished the tank in a while. i got my Tiger sitting over there and needs finished for our Tiger Buddy build from a long time ago. Alright, let's start on some sprues. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, about sixteen sprues, not counting the sprues of tracks. Alright. Looks like the ring for the gun. Top of the tank, small parts, very delicate little parts. Nice detail on the top of the tank. One of the machine guns. Very delicate detail in these parts. You have to be careful cutting them out so you don't break them. Very nice, good, typical trumpeter plastic. The ejector pin marks on the inside, you're not going to see them. Even this ring around here. Very nicely molded. Good detail. Slide that away. And... So I'm going to get back in the swing of one armor, one car, one aircraft. I've been doing so many aircraft, I've got behind on everything else. I like building one car, one armor, and one aircraft all at the same time because it's three different techniques. It keeps me fresh. So, more various bits and parts. I'm not a tank expert, so I can't tell you what they are. I'm pretty sure that these are the smoke ejectors. Another part of the ring. Not sure what this is. Looks like a piece of radio equipment, but like I said, not a tank expert. I just build them. Some more very tiny, delicate parts you can see on there. All right. Some more detail. Trumpeter's been getting. Actually, as far as I know, Trumpeter's always been very good at armor kits. I've only built one, and it turned out really nice. It was, um, over there, what is it? King Tiger. And we got the side skirts coming up here. Side skirts, 
some more detail parts. I'm guessing that's the back end of it. You'll hook the exhaust and everything up to it. Side skirts again. Injector pins on the inside, but you're not going to see those because of where the tracks are. Nice detail on the side skirts. Haven't seen any flash yet. See some more of the delicate parts right there. Be careful when you're taking them off the sprues. And we got us some more. Looks like a commander's ring, cupola. All right. Good nut detail, rivet detail in there, bolt detail. Looks like some more radio equipment. I'm guessing if there's radio equipment, you're going to see some of the inside of it. I guess we're going to have a hatch or two open. I'm not sure if this is part of the barrel or part of the exhaust. Nice texture on these parts that are going to be on the outside. I'm guessing this is maybe the front. But there you go. Some more of the fine detail. Some good painting and some good weathering. This is going to stand out really nice. All that really good detail in there. There you go. More of the whole parts. And look at this, how small and fine that is. And you can see cast texture on this part of the hull. Uh, well, the light's catching it, but there's some nice cast texture. There you go, some nice cast texture on there. There's PE grills, so you're probably either going to end up taking those out or leaving them, depending on your choice. Some more nice cast texture on this side. And the ejector pins are on the inside, out of the way. You can see how this is, I mean, you can look at the, how the sprue is curved to make the ridges flexible in there. Very impressive. Impressive. And like more hull detail. And there's a lot of armor on this kit too. So I'm, so I'm sure some of this is armor. Like, again, I'm not expert. Part of the drive wheel system. And probably the side of the turret. If I can remember my pictures correctly. Nice bolt detail on those. Looking good. So these look like oh, they got handles there. Let's see what the instructions say when we get to them. No sense giving you false information. Getting some of the smaller sprues and duplicates. This is a duplicate screw. Well, we need to look at one. It's got, I'm guessing, a gas can or a water can. Some more of the wheels, drive sprockets, some more tiny little bits and parts, and various delicate things. Again, here, tiny, but I like how they make the sprue gates not as thick when it's going under tiny parts as it does when it's on the heavier parts. That means they're thinking about what they're doing when they make the molds. They're just not rushing in there and slapping some, carving out some metal for the molds. They're giving it some thought. Alrighty. 
Ooh, it didn't open up very well. There you go. More connecting parts, parts of parts. Just a small sprue. Sexy sprue M. Oh, bummer. Guns in two halves. But there are many, many metal replacement barrels available. Alright, move this out of the way. Don't cause a distraction. But it looks good. It's got nice detail on it, I guess, depending on how well the seam goes together. You can always clean up the seam line. I'm not going to go metal barrel on it. Because this is just a fun build. I don't build, like I said, Many tanks. I haven't been, but I'll get back into my armor. But I'm also going to throw some trucks and trailers and other things in there, as you've seen from my reviews of what I got. That little bulldozer I did during the two hour speed build. Give me a little more armor mojo. More side plates, front plates. There you go. Actually, looks like a tailgate on a truck. Good simulated thickness, whatever parts these are. I'm guessing this is an antenna of some sort. This looks like a control stick. And another set of duplicate sprues. More road wheels. Nice detail on both sides of the road wheels. There's one side. There's the other. No ejector pin marks in them. All these flat sides are really flat. Great bolt detail. You're going to have to paint that. It's got a rubber, rubber tire around it. They'll have to be painted. But you use one of the circle templates, which I have one right here. I keep flat. And you just find what size you need. Probably that size, right there. After you paint the tires black, you just tape off these extra holes and you just go around and spray, and spray, and spray, and it makes it a piece of cake. But I'm liking that bolt detail. It's a nice bolt detail. Like I said, these tires, road wheels. Looking good. Two of those. Uh, I don't want to go back in the bag right now. And two more, exact same thing. So four of these. And let's see what we got over here. There we go. The top of the turret. Misplaced my knife. Dag nabbit. You see all those places where you're going to be putting parts on top of it. I'd almost paint this first before I put parts on it. Just because you may not be able to get under there. It's got a little bit of cast texture. But I'm not sure how much cast is actually on it. But I like the shape. Futuristic looking. Clear parts, not much to see at the tank. Flat clear parts. Some good bolt detail around there. I ain't risking scratching my clear parts. These are for the headlights. Again, some good detail. Two different mallet covers. We'll open that. 
No, this isn't plastic. This is a rubbery compound. Very nice. There's two different ones. Not sure the difference between them. But like I said, these are rubbery. Which is good. For realistic. Although some people don't like it. Oh, there's a third one and a deditching log. So three different mantlet covers. The deditching log is made of the same stuff, a little rubbery. Not sure what these two parts are. But I'm of the kind that I would just take this outside, find me a stick this dimension, and just use a real one. Just, I live in a forest. I have many sticks around here. Alright, what else we got in here? And the tracks. I've never done trumpeter tracks. I've done Fruel. I've done Tamiya. Never done trumpeter. It does come with a jig. And these are tracks with the rubber pads on them. They're supposed to just sit, you just click them all on here. And then you've got guide horns here. That you put on the top. After you click them all together. We'll see this thing start. Can you just put these on top? I'm probably going to do these because I've never done trumpeter tracks. And I'd like to give them a shot. See what it's like. But you've got four screws of guide horns. Four screws of tracks. And four of the jigs to put them together. Alright, that's all the plastic. You get a wound tow cable piece of copper. So that's the second piece of copper wire in here. And clutch. And it's wrapped in clear parts, but you can see grill covers. Look at all those tiny little photo H parts. And the second one is the same as the first one. So, I don't want those bent, so we're going to put those back right away. And let's get to instructions. I don't believe there's any decals with this. Comes with a typical trumpeter, here's what's coming out sort of thing. This gets a few years old. This is from, yeah, it doesn't say. And we got us some instructions right here. T90 SAMBT. All their safety guidelines. Read and follow. Numbered sprue maps. And it starts out with the dry sprockets. Grommets. Is that what they're called? Grommets. Polycaps. There you go. It even says polycap. So, putting all the wheels together. Putting some of the... That's probably the suspension and the dry sprockets. More road wheels together. Putting the whole hull together. And all the suspension parts in, bottom hull, all the road wheels. I'd probably wait on the road wheels till later. Check my paint scheme and see what it says. I um, need to cut out some holes, make some holes in the top of the hull. PE little pieces are going various places. This is. I guess looking straight down on it because you got 45 degree angle here. More parts for the top of the turret. More plating, engine parts, well, engine exhaust parts. Those are headlight covers. 
Top of the turret onto the lower hull, or sorry, top of the hull onto the lower hull. More fiddly little parts. Here, maybe this will give you a better glance. Sorry, I didn't think that sooner. And the deditching log and the hooks onto the back of the hull. And here's how you do the tracks. You snap the main parts together, and then you put the guide horn, glue it onto there. And this is the actual size of it, I'm pretty sure. Let's check. Here's me hull. Pretty close. Let's give me a diagram of the bits of sag you want in it. Fuel tank, you're making two storage storage um, bins. So these were the top of the over the road wheels. These are the side skirts. This goes on top of that. So this was actually side skirts, the one that were bent. The one that I said was side skirt wasn't side skirt. Which is why I said I don't know tanks very well. Here's the um, tow cable. You're going to put a PE part on there. This is the other side. You see a little bit you're adding to it. I didn't see any tools on there. You see how these are built up? They'll go over the top of the tracks. I might temporarily glue those in. I know I have to look at it and see if I can, because you couldn't get the tracks under it if you permanently glue it in. And some more bits, bobs, PE. PE. Buckles. Here's where your vinyl tubing goes from the fuel tanks into the, I'm guessing, fuel filter into the engine. Tow cables, how they're hooked up. Top turret ring. Matlet with a ring on it. It doesn't say any difference, so I guess you just get a couple extra ones. More top of the turret. Lots of little bits going on there, lots of little PE going on there. Same here. Armor around the front. Little PE parts going everywhere. more parts. I'm guessing that's some reactive armor. I could be wrong. And I'm sure someone can correct me. It looks like reactive armor to me in the run in front. Portholes, some of the PE vents, periscopes, machine gun mount, more stowage boxes. These are going on the inside, so that was a radio because it's on the inside of here. Detailing up all the hatches, detailing up the machine gun, putting the barrel together, two halves equal one plus the muzzle, more storage, stowage, those are the smoke launchers like I said, put the turret onto the tank, all done. I didn't see though. Let me go back here. Well, if I skipped a page or I just went too fast. Let's go for the turret. The vinyl tubing. More PE and a bend. Looking for the vents. These. There we go. The P vents looks like they just go on top. They don't you have to cut out those old ones in there too. That's what I missed, but it's gonna add depth to it. Okay. Still don't see any decals. I do have a painting guide. I like the colors. Here's the um, color call out for the actual outside of the tank. Umbro Vallejo, Model Master Tamiya, uh, Mr. Hobby. So it looks like the wheels are all one color. They're not camoed like some wheels are, but the underneath is. 
So I'm thinking I'm going to have to leave the wheels and the tracks off and temporarily put the side parts on to paint it. To paint the whole thing correctly. Even the barrel except for this part right here. Which is probably where the recoil goes. So. Looking good. I'm looking forward to building and getting back into another tank. Like I said, this is the T90. Where did I do the box? This one right here. Trumpeter T90 SAMBT. That's what I'll be building for Andreas's T90 Buddy Build. Everyone feel free to join. Thanks for watching. Remember, don't be a kit collector, be a kit builder. Go start or finish a build today. It'll make your day a whole lot better. Bye now.